Aloha! Michelle Hernandez here and welcome to Life is Constant Hawaii TV. This channel is about bringing you love, hope, and joy. Today we're going to be talking about decrees. What does it mean? How does the Bible describe them? And how can we use them to benefit our life and all the circumstances around us right now and immediately? So stick with me and let's check it out together. All right, well, today we are going to be speaking about decrees. In prayer, when I was asking the Lord, all right, Holy Spirit, what is it that we should be addressing today? And given the situation, I mean, our nation in 2020, the United States of America is like in a bit of a chaotic moment with the presidential election and people in the COVID-19 and all this, it just keeps getting, just, it just doesn't lighten up at all, really. And so we have an ability as sons and daughters of the Lord, the King of Kings, to actually co-labor with the King and co-labor with Jesus and bring God's will to earth. He actually wants us to do that and we can do it in prayer and, and a, also in a form of a decree. A decree is a tool that can be used that's where we actually, you know, do bring the authority of Jesus Christ and the will of God to earth. We can manifest it. We can bring the spiritual authority that uh, Jesus has given up to us through our words and our speech. And while we speak them out loud, we can decree it, which is like order it to be done, order it that it is here in Jesus' name. And we can um, bring that spiritual authority so that it actually just manifests in earth, in the natural. You know, and we do it by virtue of what's known as a decree. We also do it um, in a form of a prayer. Decrees, declarations, petitions, I mean, these are actual legal terms. And, but today we're going to be concentrating on decrees, which is like an order. We're going to establish a uh, order of law spiritually, an order of law spiritually, according to Jesus Christ himself, the King of Kings, the highest authority that we have in the spirit realm, highest authority we have in the world is Jesus Christ of Nazareth and we can be and use his power as that could, which is in us when we say yes to being a son and daughter of a of the Lord of the creator of the universe of and accept Jesus as our Savior and if you haven't done that I'll put the salvation prayer in the description below uh, for you to do so but in the form of a decree we are speaking out loud what we are um, we are ordering to be done in the natural and we will always want that be, to be consistent with God's will so it's always good to know your Bible and so when you're for example when you are decreeing I decree that in my home will be a house of prayer and it will be prosperous and wealthy uh, with abundance of resources well that's me speaking a decree for myself my personal home the atmosphere in my home and I would follow it also by in the name of Jesus Christ. So, what is that consistent with the will of God? Of course, as a daughter of a King of Kings, as a daughter of the Heavenly Father, He wants us to have prosperity. He is an abundant God. He is God of more than enough. You know, the Bible also talks about where Jesus was talking to His apostles and His disciples on how to pray. And in the in it's the famous prayer of an Our Father. And it's a prayer that we should say often, but not just recite it without our heart postured in alignment with the heaven. Listen to the words of the prayer that Jesus says to us in this word that of how we should pray. And it says, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, and it continues after that, but this is the part I wanna highlight on earth as it is in heaven and we can bring heaven to earth and we can bring um the, our, our the spiritual authority of jesus and our heavenly father and holy spirit to earth through our authority that we carry as believers in jesus christ and so when so when we do that what are we doing we are doing it by virtue of, we can do that by virtue of a decree that is a very powerful tool to use as a prayer warrior so i decree that this the United States of America will once again be a unified nation. I decree that the, the United States of America will once again be a country that has the righteousness of God in it. 
that we do we do our lives by virtue of your work King Jesus I decree that the United States of America will once again turn turn to its founding fathers and the Constitution and that was inspired by you King Jesus that we will once again be a nation that has traditional Christian values that we would be a nation of peace and love and acceptance and of Christians and the, the a nation that loves you God and puts you first and does not put forth false gods false idols in their life in Jesus name I decree this and so this is a those are examples of decrees and it is powerful however it is very easy to get them confused with what you hear a lot in society which is uh, positive affirmations they're not positive affirmations they're more powerful than positive affirmations I mean it's similar I suppose if we broke down the uh, definition of these words but a decree comes from the source of power from God himself King Jesus many times the New Age and you know these other types of belief systems will bring in positive affirmations and they're thinking that we could manifest what through our word and positively stating it out loud looking in the mirror to ourselves and all that that we would be able to manifest these things because it says though we are God and inside us um, is God like when that's like what Satan said to God like I want to be God and I, I want to be in charge and then God kicked him out of heaven so that's the trick by the devil we are not God it is not us alone that is doing this it is through the grace of God who accepted us as daughters and sons that allow us to co-labor with him through the name of Jesus to that will bring his will to earth positive affirmations alone as far as like thinking that the source comes from me inside just as an individual as a human being or as some energy source that is not even a person or anything is not is just is just false thinking it's just not real and um, you might they may have seen some results of that uh, in the past like you might have some friends that would say oh no they work but I tell you they will not work uh, for a very long time it's just you know it's just a very temporary thing I mean I'm not even going to say what I think it is but it's like I'm telling you it won't sustain itself versus the Lord God himself King Jesus being a believer and born-again believer in Jesus it does sustain itself it gives us the hope and the peace and you know and and we actually see the answers to our prayers there's just so much more fruit and positive results when we are in alignment with the right source, which is the only good source out there, which is King Jesus himself. And the rest are just counterfeits and tricks from the devil to try to get you off course on the truth. But decrees are really powerful. And then, you know, remember too, the Bible says that there is life and death in our mouth, so we can speak those decrees positively and bring in the spiritual authority of Jesus into our life bringing heaven to earth and have having the things that he wants us to have too as, as sons and daughters of the, of the Lord so just keep that in mind it's definitely a time to decree the Word of God and God's will and uh, these days right now there's a lot of good resources and books out there um, on uh, praying the Bible I think that's even a book that is called Praying the Bible. And then also another one uh, written by Elizabeth Nixon um, where it was decrees inspired by the Psalms, I believe is what it's called. It's a big one that I love. I would highly recommend that resource as well. But you don't, you don't even need a book. It's just like, you know, when you're in prayer and you hear what and you're, you're, just, you're just contending in prayer, for what you want to be manifested and you know it's also God's will for it to be done like when it's alignment with peace and, and unity then just say it and use that authority believers like I know we do serve a God that is so powerful and he is on the throne but he wants us he needs us he wants us to manifest his presence more on earth and the United States of America needs it more now than ever before so I leave that with you on an encouraging word that we that we are victorious we will be victorious you know we aren't victims he has given us the tools he's given us all we need in the name of Jesus to accomplish a very happy peaceful joy-filled life 
So that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's message. Just if you haven't um, liked the video, like it and uh, subscribe to it. Subscribe to notifications. I'm posting every Sunday. If you haven't already, download my free book, The Father's Love. It's in PDF. It's free. Share it all you like. Let's get the word out that we serve a great king and we have a we have we don't have to wait till we die to go to heaven. We can actually bring heaven to earth and have a more happy, joy-filled life as we walk out this physical existence. So that's all for today. Until next time, mahalo and aloha.